Kerry, can you take us through the trade? Was it a surprise to you? Did you did you know it was coming? Uh, I can't say that I knew it was coming. I was most definitely surprised. Uh, you know, Tuesday being our off days, I was just at home relaxing, um, getting re preparing for practice, and I got a call that uh, I was getting traded to Philly. So, uh, you know, it caught me off guard, but, you know, getting here was an exciting thing for me, and uh, I'm excited to, to be here and compete and help this team go forward. After you found out about the trade, who was the first person from here that called you, and what's the process been like as you got into the building? Uh, first person I talked to was the GM. Uh, he sounded super excited, which ultimately, you know, made me excited, you know, to, to, to have someone embrace me like that and uh, tell me how excited they, they were for me to get here and play and ultimately compete for a spot to help this team get better. Um, so I, I packed as much as I could in the span of less than an hour and got my flight and, and I was headed here. Did you, did you have any you have uh, with the Eagles in the pre-draft yeah. process? Uh, I don't even think I spoke to the Eagles in the pre-draft process. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's crazy. But So when you talked to, to Howie, did he explain what it was that they were interested in you? Um, anything, anything along those lines? Uh, yeah, he said they saw me in preseason. Uh, and he actually told me that they've been trying to get me since preseason. Um, you know, the, the Broncos were keeping me. But, um, you know, like I said, when, and hearing that from him, that made me excited. And, and I can't wait to, to compete and play for the guys. Do you think you were hurt uh, as far as your draft positioning uh, because you opted out of the 2020 season? And um, why do you think that was or so? Um, you know, stepping away from the game, you know, people didn't see me for a year. You know, so, you know, it was, it was a lot of uncertainty. You know, can he still do it? Is he still in shape? And uh, I, I, I kind of figured that that would come with it. But um, I, I was blessed to be drafted, you know, get this opportunity. And now I'm ready to show guys and all the other teams what they missed out on. Jacoby Stevens. Uh, me, and, me and Jacoby are real close. You know, won a championship together. Let us, you came in together. Uh, I basically, you know, known him what five plus years. So we're real close. So it's it's pretty cool to come to a team like this and uh, have guys you have a history with. You know, I have a few guys on this team that I have history with. What's the best about the second year of the play? Uh, I, I I'm a Swiss Army knife, and uh, that's that was another thing that that was big. And uh, you know, a reason that the coaches were happy to get me here. I've, I've played everywhere. Safety, corner, nickel. I can do it all. And uh, and I'm excited to be wherever they need me to be. Where are you starting out? Say it again. Where are you starting out here? Uh, I've, been, I've been in corner and nickel so far. I've been there for two days, and I played both corner and nickel, learning both spots. So, you know, we'll see where it pans out. What have these two days been like just in the building and, and trying to catch up on everything? Um. You know, it, not, Rome wasn't built in one day, you know, so I know it's going to take time for me to, you know, catch up with these guys. A lot of these guys have been here, you know, for a few years since camp, you know, stuff like that. But um, everybody's embracing me well. You know, we, we had our, our uh, warm-up practice today, getting ready for the Chargers. I'm pretty sure I'll be inactive this week, but um, it, it's, it's, it's exciting. I feel like I've been here, you know. Um, it's a family. I get a real real good family vibe here. You know, everybody's cool. It's, it's, it's what I, the, the type of team that I'm glad to be a part of. Besides uh, your versatility, what's the other ways to kind of describe your skill set? Say it again. Besides versatility, what's what's some other ways to describe your skill set? Well, one of the things that the coaches love about me here is my is my cover skills, my man cover skills, and um, that's something that I feel with any team will take you to the next level. You know, it, it, being a DB, you know, you gotta you gotta be able to cover. That's first first things first. So I feel like that sets me apart as well. When you, were, when you were in Denver, obviously you had veteran cornerbacks ahead of you, and it seemed like the same thing here with Slay and Nelson. Like, how much are those guys kind of helping you? Or are they taking taking you under their wing and everything? And is it lost on you the fact that you guys play Denver next week too? Uh, yeah, um, I. I um, I know that we, we got those guys next week. I'm actually looking forward to that. And um, you know, like I like you said, you know, coming from a a, a pretty uh, all pro DB room in in uh in Denver and and, and coming to a, another one here in, in Philadelphia. I'm just I'm just a sponge to it all. I soak it in. I learn as much as I can from these guys who's been in the league, who's made plays, who who's done what I want to do and been where I want to be. So I just soak everything up as much as I can. What are your early impressions? What are, what are your early impressions of Jonathan Gannon? His history as secondary coach and also Denard Wilson. Um. Like I said, I didn't. I, I previously didn't know too much about him, I, you know, honestly. But um, coming here, seeing this defense, and it has a lot of similarities from the defense that I played at LSU, and uh, you know, where guys move around and playing playing in different spots, and I'm super excited about that.